Hey guys, I want to let you in on a little secret that I know about that uh, gets me some really amazing DX. Or maybe it's not a secret. It's no secret that I like to get up very early in the morning and go out portable. I go down to the beach and uh, get set up at right around in the Gray Line area at the crack of dawn or as the sun's coming up. I've even been known to get down there before the sun comes up because it's a very special time. I even do it here, right here in my own home QTH with uh, my little Zygu G90 there. Nothing more than a lightweight little, uh, not very powerful portable radio here. I just set it on my desk and I hook it up to the uh, antenna I have outside, and which is a, pretty much a compromise too, just a little simple vertical. But um, but there's something to the morning and getting up early and some really, really amazing DX. And I want to tell you what to look for, how to do it, and how you too can make some incredible contacts. Stick around. Hey guys, the secret is looking and following and knowing what's going on in the ionosphere. And that means knowing where the maximum usable frequency is. You know, I found right now, especially this time of year, uh, it's right around the equinox here and going toward in the spring and summer in the northern hemisphere, that um, a lot of times the 20 meter band, that's the magic band for me too. I know people call six meters the magic band, but we're going to call it the 20 meter the magic DX band because um, th that band sometimes will go all the way through the night. Now, I know we're reaching the peak or getting close to the top of a solar cycle. So now more than ever is a good time to try this, but check the maximum usable frequency. And if the maximum usable frequency is above, say, 15, that means the 20 meter band is open and could have been open all night long. And that happens a lot of times now this time of year. So what I do is I'll get the map and I'll give you a link to uh, to the maximum usable frequency map that online. Um, this is a great map. And I'll also put a link to a video I did on MUF, MUF maximum usable frequency. But um, when you check that, you look, you go, wow, 20 is open. Cut the radio on like I do. I get up early. I'm up at 4.35 a.m. in the morning and come in here before I go to work and cut the radio on. Usually I hear things like this. So those are pretty cool mornings when I hear things like that. And when I heard that, I got on. And I was pretty lucky because when I got on, I made contact with my 20 watts. And I, I spoke with uh, ZL3JAS. He was in New Zealand. And he was talking to a couple of his friends in Tasmania, the VK7UK and VK7HBR. And I was able to make contact with them as well. Roger, 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 Roger. He was just above my noise level. I also have some um, some local QRM here that's kind of interfering there as well. But uh, so good. Thank you for letting me make those contacts to Tasmania as well. Wonderful. It's about 5 a.m. in the morning here. I like to get up early because that is usually my path there to uh, ZL and uh, VK for sure. Just 20 watts, two zero. This is also something that's really cool to do on a contest weekend because you're up before everybody else here in North America. And depending on where you're at, um, you, you get you get a jump on people if you're in North America. I know some of you guys watching are in another part of the world and maybe you just need to find out what your thing is as well and uh, when you can get on 20 early in the morning and, and probably and usually what's uh what's a little west of you or south of you or maybe even north of you uh what's what's open and uh where you're you've got a jump start on other people but contesting weekends are a really good weekend to do something like this because you never really know uh what kind of a exotic or 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 a station in a place that you really wanted to get in your log when that happens Thank you, contest, November Hotel, Seven, Tango. kilo four oscar golf oscar Yes, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, 59706. Yes, you are 59, number 4. Thanks, November Hotel 7, 
Pringle. Another cool thing too is I've made a lot of friends uh, in the mornings on <laughs> getting on uh, getting up and uh, like over to VK and ZL early in the mornings, and man, you never know who you're going to run into. Hey, you won't. QSL, it's Walt. Roger, Roger, you're five nine, uh, number five, number five. First time to get you in here. So good to hear you, Corey. Uh, we'll, we'll chat later. I know you're contesting, but uh, it's been a while. Thanks for the number five, Walt. Enjoy your day, mate. Seventy three. We'll catch you again. Seventy three, my friend. So there you go. All in all, it's all about getting up early when other people aren't there and uh, and checking and seeing where the maximum usable frequency is. It's really, it's an easy trick. And uh, grab a cup of coffee and go check it out and uh, and get on because I tell you what, a lot of uh, missing links in your, uh, in your logbook and a lot of places that you want to work can be worked uh, real early in the morning, say like before before the sun comes up, for that matter, even at the crack of dawn and through uh, the early morning time. Um, I know uh, if you're in North America, uh, there's a great, uh, usually right around uh, sunrise here on the East Coast for me, there's a great net called the, um, the uh, Southern Cross Net on 20 meters. It's usually somewhere around 2, th 14, 238 to 14, 240 or whatever, but uh Usually I'll check that like Friday, Saturday mornings. I know it runs all week, but um, those it's a good thing because um, you have operators there that get back and forth. It makes it easier to break a pile up if you're low power to get in, wait your turn, and you can make some great contacts on that as well. So look, get on and uh, scan around and listen up for the uh, Southern Cross Net as well if you're in the U.S. wanting to make uh, contact with VK and ZL. Now, if you're in VK or ZL and you want to talk to me, Hey, uh, 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night as it's getting dark there, and uh, we're not quite daylight here right now. Seems to be the time on 20 meters. I know for me, um, 10 meters is the afternoon for me, your morning. But right now, uh, and usually through and up until summer, this works well. I noticed this also was the deal, too, when I was in Europe. I operated in Europe for quite a while, and uh, it was mornings there as well where I could make... Um, the calls back over to the United States west of me when the muff was there and, and make those uh, contacts to USA. Even made some long path contacts to uh, VK and ZL from there as well. So early morning DX, it's worth getting up for. It really is. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you uh, maybe inspired you to get up and do this. And uh, hey, if you hear me, don't, you know, we'll break the pile up together. Anyway, until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO73, my friends.